Hi, Terry. Hello, Anjali. Following on from our previous discussion, I had a question about false beliefs and more so about how, in your opinion, do you think our false beliefs change our perspective on life and how we live life? Oh, I, I think a lot. But let, let's be start by saying that I don't think we need to look at a metaphysical or cosmological level to talk about false beliefs. We can at some point, and that probably would be to some degree helpful. But when I think about the false beliefs that affect our lives, I think of the kinds of things we, we just learn that are wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, often uh, things we learn from our families and our parents. Uh, so often things like, um, I'm not good at such and such, which are things that we may have been taught as a child and that we've come to believe as adults. Those things, and that's just a small example, I think influence a lot of behavior. There's also some current science from um, neuroscience that indicates that that emotions generally have a role to play in all of the decisions one makes. Absolutely. Even decisions that are explicitly logical. They have uh, at least an emotional component, a, a, a touch to see if it seems right. And then of course when things are not logically distributed, one reaches to one's emotions to see which one seems better, feels better, one knows, and so forth. So. The things that one learns throughout one's life, and particularly when one's small, have a great deal to, to, to do with how one sees things, and particularly how one sees oneself as an adult. And it's good to question your beliefs, particularly about yourself, yeah. and see where these values and beliefs come from. Are they serving you? Are they serving someone else? Um, is it true? Is it useful? Does it make you a better person? Does it bring you happiness? Does it make the world a better place? All of those are important questions. And they come up, I think, every time you run into an emotion and say, oh, I feel blank. Mm. That's an opportunity to look at that. Yeah. Would you say that these are almost inherited emotions that we have taken over from our childhood? Well. I don't think they're inherited in any genetic sense. I think they may be inherited in some kind of, of a familial style or learning because we know that throughout history some families have been known for some values or some effects on history. Um, I think that's more likely than saying that there is a genetic basis for um, hostility or sadness. Right. Very well said, indeed.